Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Well, Sydney Powell got a early Christmas present. Uh, she, for as much as it is, uh, she struck a plea deal with um, with Fonnie Willis. She had all these felony counts dropped, and she pleaded guilty to six misdemeanors uh, involving uh, the charges uh, in the uh, Georgia election interference. Um, as part of the deal, she will get six years probation, be fined $6,000, and then she'll have to write an apology letter to Georgia as in his residence, as well as give a recorded statement for prosecutors and testify truthfully against her co-defendants at future trials. For everything that that woman did and her involvement in this thing and all the press conferences and releasing the Krakens and all the BS... She got six years probation. She should thank her lucky stars for that. She really should. Now, that being said, before we get too angry with that, she's still part of the lawsuits from Smartmatic and Dominion. So, uh, yeah, she's she's not going to have a career because I'm sure she's going to lose her law license over this. She's not going to have any money because they're going to win their court cases against her. You know, she's basically flushed her life down the toy toy. For what? Hope you enjoyed that 15 minutes of fame. I'm no, I'm, I'm struck by the six years probation and the $6,000. Why not $6,666? I like all those sixes. It's kind of apropos. Wonder if it's a 666 word apology letter. Anyway, Sydney Powell, how are you feeling right now? Now that you've pled guilty. <laughs> yeah, mama, you are lucky that you had a coin drop in your lap. That's what you get when you're one of the first people to take the plea deals. Now, yeah, the dude that was the bail bondsman took a plea deal, but he was he was a nobody in all this. She's been in the meetings with Trump. She's been in, you know, the January 5th meetings and all that stuff. I I wouldn't be real comfortable as Rudy Giuliani right now because the two of them have been pointing their fingers at each other and she's got the deal and Rudy doesn't. <laughs> yeah, she's got the deal. This was a yeah, this is a winner takes all type moment. This deal that she got that it, it yeah best deal she could have gotten and it screws over all the other guys chesborough was offered actually a better deal than she was offered and he didn't take it so <laughs> for everybody else in conspiracy get ready to meet the bus and here's the flipping card yeah underneath it all yeah she got a good deal and she took it she does not have to spend a day in prison six thousand bucks yeah who wants to pay the money but that's a slap on the wrist compared to what she <laughs> compared to what she's going to face with the defamation lawsuits. That's a slap at the wrist. And I hope her uh, I hope her ab apology letter takes culpability for the lies. I doubt it will. In the past, we got the, the page of wands. Here's here she is going around um, talking about the election lies and releasing the Kraken and all the crazy stuff that she did to promote this whole conspiracy but that's in the past let's see what the current situation is ace of cups um a whole lot of relief a lot of relief because she knew she was going to prison she knew she was going to prison she was guilty and she was going to prison and this deal is going to get her out of that type of thing yeah yeah it's a victory it is a huge win for her absolutely positive and her lawyer for getting this deal but now 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 comes the hard part you got to tell the truth about your uh about the other people that you're going to testify against if you lie the deal goes off the table and then your your whole plea deal goes out the window if you lie so she's got to be really careful about what she says and that she can back it up uh with evidence so on and so forth. Not to mention, again, her life is not going to be easy going forward. It just won't be in prison. She's going to lose her ability to earn a living through uh, legal practices. And if she didn't lose a law license, who would hire her? 
and she's got lawsuits, civil suits coming after her for defamation, and everybody knows she's a whack job. And she's a lying whack job. But she's gonna have to she's gonna pull her end of it. You know, there's there's gonna be a lot of cases coming up, and it might very well be that her testimony in those cases makes a difference. So as much as we might get grumpy that we all want them in prison for the rest of their natural lives, because screw them, uh, you know, in the end of the day, you'd rather have Trump be in prison than Sidney Powell. Sidney Powell, it, don't get me wrong, she's high up on the list. But if, you know, I'm going to name off a bunch of people. You tell me when Sidney Powell jumps them. Donald Trump. Steve Bannon, Roger Stone, um, Mike Flynn. <laughs> you know, we could just go right to Stephen Miller for hatred levels. Rudy Giuliani, who would you rather see in, in jail, Rudy or um, or the Kraken Lady? You know, yeah. You know, when we start getting down to Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, it's like, yeah, I want both of them in there, but yeah, I might want Rudy prosecuted first. Yeah, you know, you're starting to get down the. Uh, the food chain a bit there. Ken Chesborough, you probably don't care too much about him. You probably want her in there before Ken Chesborough because she was a more visible figure in all this. And just in your grill, lying about everything and making all sorts of stuff up. Okay. Um, how is Donald Trump feeling about this news that... Sidney Powell has now cut a plea deal. How is that making Donald feel? You know, this can't be good, right? <laughs> you know this can't be good. <sighs> it's just more, just another setback. Just another setback, and it's another person who's going to be testifying against him. No, he's not happy about this. He probably doesn't understand why she flipped so to him she's just disloyal i mean now he probably didn't do anything to maintain the loyalty but he's not going to like this news <laughs> yeah you know, it's a little late now donald a little late now to buy her loyalty he should have been paying her a lot more money uh to do that he i think i'd have to look it up i don't know if he was paying her legal bills or not i don't think he was i think he kind of left a lot of people on their own and if you're going to have a conspiracy you need to take care of these people financially so that they can fight these charges and he didn't do that yeah there's she you know <laughs> she did the work probably didn't get paid he didn't pay her then and he's not paying to keep her out of prison so this is just him being just a greedy slob expecting that people will be loyal to him and he just doesn't get it that why do I have to pay people? They should just be loyal to me. You know, it was one big happy conspiracy in the past. And we're all happy with election interference. Nobody told him that trying to steal the election was wrong. Nobody said, sir, trying to steal the election's wrong. You shouldn't do it. So that makes it perfectly fine. <sighs> Current situation. Um, that's interesting. Why is there a victory in the current situation? I know she got a victory. Um, why? How is he going to turn this into a victory? Is this the look at me card? I think... Um, boy, I'm at a loss with this one. Current situation... Part of it, I think, is he's, he's focused on the civil case. He's not focused on this case. He's focused on winning his civil case here. Yeah, you know what? Scratch this whole thing. You don't have to scratch it. I'll, I'll, I'll come back. He's thinking about a civil case. This, all these cards are about a civil case. They fit. Let's just finish it. So she's got her victory. <laughs> it's going to bring his case down. And he's going to pay for this. He should have taken care of his people. And he didn't do it. And they flip on him. Now, 
So that's kind of, it's explaining the situation, but here let's go. He's still focused on the civil case. He's focused on you know, the, the gag orders and he's already lost the case and he's trying to save the money, as much money as he can with this. You know, this is Trump Oregon, it's heyday. Everything's going great. He was the president. He was grifting money left, right and center. He's getting uh, Russian oligarch money and helping him launder it. And right now he's focused on the, this business fraud case because he needs to win it. And he's making a show of him being there, criticizing everything about that case. But he knows that if he loses this case, the civil case, it's all over for him. Because he loses his financial backing, which he needs to fight all these other cases. <laughs> and I'm laughing, and can evil cackle there, because if he runs out of money, then he has to go with public defenders. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> There's going to be a lot of money he's going to be paying out. He's going to be poor by the time they're done with him on that civil case. And he's got more cases he has to deal with. He's going to watch his wealth go from a lot of wealth to little wealth. And he doesn't have a way to re-earn that. You know, he only makes money by, you know, squeezing his followers. And I think he's been finding less and less success with that. So... He doesn't even see the Sidney Powell thing because he's worried about his own financial problems. So he's not even seeing these people flip. It, it's funny because you know what it is? Donald Trump is not a bright man and he can't keep track of all these cases. Maybe once upon a time he could have. And entertainment purposes only when it said he's not a bright man. You know, he was able to say man, woman, person, TV, camera, you know. Um, and he tells us how smart he is, smartest man in the room. He may not be able to keep track of all these cases and, you know, digest everything that's going on. So he might be putting up blinders to certain things and only focusing on what he can focus on. And right now, all he can focus on is the, um, the, the peril that his business and his brand in the mythology that he has built up about, about himself over the last several decades is it's like a house of cards and it's tumbling down and that's his reality it's his his net worth is his self-worth this whole this whole fantasy world he's built up around him that's his reality and if the judicial system cuts it out from underneath him he's gonna free fall he won't have anything to grip on because his reality will have burst like a soap bubble so he did, I don't even think I don't even think this really registered with him. Maybe he got angry about something with it, but then he's focused on uh, his wealth, hiding his wealth, and doing stuff like that. Okay, so that's kind of my reading on Sidney Powell uh, and and all this. When we get closer to trials and her testimony, maybe we'll throw on her again. But man, this woman dodged a bullet, but her life's not going to be that great after this either. She's hit the apex, and now she's going to fall quickly and rapidly. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for doing the things you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so my video makes it out to new viewers. To those new viewers, welcome to the channel. I hope you found this reading insightful, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.